more bad news Want to pop blood clap badness A bad man run the bomb buck clap world I want the sun pussy Hi, today I'm back again with another Afrobeat dancehall beat. Yeah, before we dive right into this tutorial, if you're watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. If you want to make this style of music, you need to be uh, on the tempo of either 95 or 100. Or you can try 103 or 105 depending on how fast you need it to be but i like uh, it this way yeah as you can see i have 10 patterns for this particular beat and the rest of them are just samples like the riser and the down lifter uplifter whatever i want to call it and i also have a vocal just for spicing up the beat to give it that feel so the first thing i want you to know is uh, i'm actually using uh, 1 over 4. If you want to join my training, you can contact me on WhatsApp. My number is in the description of this video. I'm going to be training you from the ground up to the top. So try to reach out to me. I'm doing a swing here, which is 30%. You can try as much as 50% to see what it does to your beat. So I'm going to start by explaining the percussion. Starting off with this particular guy here. So this is what it sounds like. So I'm actually using 1 over 6, the step. So sometimes it might not work for you, then you just have to choose the correct step that works for you. So next up, I have the kick. So it's a 4 over 4 kick. So if I turn on the metronome, you're going to hear. The next up, I have this percussion here. Next up, I have another one. Okay. Next up, I have the original one, which uh, it sounds like this. So don't forget, I'm actually doing a shift. So next up, we have another percussion here. Yeah, we have another one. Yeah, I have the cymbal. Then, of course, the snare. That's what I have for the first pattern. So, in the second pattern, we still have the same thing, but what I added was a thumb and this is what it sounds like so that's like uh, a transition at the end the secret is at every pattern I'm doing a different thing so here I added that the bass you understand just to give it that drop so next up this is uh this is where the piano the keys 
comes in. So I have uh, selected a tone from contact library. So it is called Strings of Anatolia. This is what it sounds like. So I'm actually layering it with another tone from Tritone, which is called Noisy Stabber. This is what it sounds like on its own. So together with the strings of Anatolia, Next off, I have another pattern for the drums. What I just did here was the kick. I tripled the kick. So nothing special. Uh, then next off, I have uh, a library called uh, Vintage Organs. Yeah, this is what it sounds like. That's right. Next off, we have another uh, guitar, which is called Ilya Efimov. It's an electric guitar. So this is what it sounds like. So all this melody you're hearing here have been made intentionally. So I didn't guess them. So if you want to learn how to create melodies, how to form your chords, you need to take my training. My music production training is online via instructional videos and Zoom live training. So try to reach out to me so I can train you to become that expert music producer. Yeah. So Nexus basic sign is a preset and uh, this is the base. So next off we have uh, this uh, effect. It's a guitar. Uh, from uh, contact library, which is called Reginade. So that's why I, I have done there. So that's everything you heard there. Then I have this effect. You already know this shaker. I had to flip it around. So this is what it sounds like now. So I'm actually on Mac and if you need Mac plugins, you can let me know. All right, that I want to show you it's uh, the riser effect. So let me just do it without uh, kickstart. So this kickstart, it's uh, a plugin which I use for the riser. This is what it sounds without the effect. So it's just straight up, but watch what uh, kickstart does to it so you understand yeah that's everything i've done in the beat talking about the mastering of this beat i'm just giving it some color uh, using this plugin called sausage partner then i added the limiter and also the fruity soft clipper and guys that's it for the beat so if you love what i'm doing please subscribe to my channel i uh, share the video like the video and see you guys on the next tutorial have fun learning bye